All right, it's time for us to get started tonight. So glad that everyone is here. Glad that you're able to be out with us. Tonight is our first third Wednesday night singing. We're doing that this year. And so we look forward to that each third Wednesday night of the month. We normally did that on Sunday night. And since we're not meeting on Sunday nights now, we decided in the planning session to go ahead and do the, the Wednesday nights. And so we look forward to that. Our opening prayer tonight will be led by Luke Bray. Our opening song will be led by Kelly. And then following that, y'all remember, it's been a while, but y'all remember how we used to do it. We'll start up here with the young guys, and as many as will, we encourage you to go ahead and get up and lead a song, okay? And then we'll move on to the older guys as well, and we want to encourage everybody, both young and old, who will to get up and lead a song with us tonight. All right, now especially for the young guys. Does anybody know what this is called? What's it called? What? What's it called? My, hey, you got it right. What does a microphone do? It makes it so folks can hear, okay? And so what I want you to do, the reason I said that and the reason I was being funny with it, uh, especially for the younger guys, when you come up here to make your uh, announcement for your song, your song number, make sure you get up here and speak into the microphone so that everybody can hear and that we can get it on the recording, okay? Everybody? All right. Young, older men, too. Y'all don't forget that as, as well. But we'll announce the number so that everybody can turn there and then those who will be watching it next Wednesday night on, uh, on the video we'll be able to sort of sing along with it as well. All right, we'll be making our announcements at the end. We'll also be doing our devotional 90 seconds of power at the end tonight. And so we'll go ahead and get started with a prayer. Luke? Bow with me. Dear and Father, thank you for letting us come here tonight and sing praises to you and learn more about your word and help all those who are sick and shut in and lost their loved ones and let us all make it back home safely and have a good night, and it's in your son's holy precious name, pray. Amen. In heavenly armor, we'll enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. No weapon that's fashioned against us will stand. The battle belongs to the Lord. And we sing glory. ring out the message. We'll do the first and last verse. There's a message true and glad for the sinful and the sad. Bring it out. Bring it out. Oh! 
First and last verses.
and last verse. Because he lives, we'll sing the first and the last. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to us. Heal and forgive. He lived and died. To buy my
53. Sing the wondrous song of Jesus.
didn't all know. And as I was thinking about what we were going to do for 90 Seconds of Power tonight, I thought, you know, there's some songs that are just simply not appropriate to sing in certain places. For example, if you think about funerals, there are some songs that you probably wouldn't want to sing. Now, there may be this song, Another One Bites the Dust by Queen. It could be Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead, Glenda and the Munchkins. Thriller by Michael Jackson. Or it could just be that favorite from Christmas time, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. There are just some songs you wouldn't want to sing at a funeral. And you know what? What about when we're seeking to worship and praise our God? And I got to thinking about it. I'm not talking about songs that are necessarily inappropriate to sing. But when we sing them, do we really think about what we're singing? For example, how could we ever sing Standing on the Promises when we're merely sitting on the premises? Or, or how could we sing I want to be a worker for the Lord when no one can even beg you into doing anything for the Lord? Or, for example, how could we ever sing, I love you, Lord, when you don't even try to keep his commandments? Or, or how could we ever sing, I'll be a friend to Jesus, when we would rather spend time with the world? You know, we can sing a lie just like we can tell one. And so we really and truly need to make sure that when we're singing a song, that we really are doing what we are singing. And so as we end our lesson tonight, or end our little devotional tonight, let me just simply ask you this. We sang this song a little bit earlier. How could we ever sing when we all get to heaven, when we're not even starting down the path that gets us there? How could we ever do that? It may be tonight that you need to obey the gospel. You need to start your journey to heaven. And if that's the case, we're here for you. And we would love to assist you in whatever way we can. Maybe you have started your drive, started your walk, started your uh, movement along the path, and, and yet there's something that has step, caused you to step aside. And if that's the case, we need to make sure we get back on the path and we need to make sure that we're headed toward heaven. If we can assist you in any way tonight, let us stand and sing the invitation song and come while we do. sent out earlier. As you know, today, uh, Brother Randall underwent uh, his knee surgery, knee replacement surgery, and uh, he's doing well. He's gone home, and, and he told me, he said uh, uh, he wanted to thank everyone for the prayers and for the good wishes, and then he sent me this, and I showed it some, to some of the other folks, because you know, so you'll know it's not me. He said, pray especially for Vanessa while I'm recovering, okay? So keep her in your prayers as well. Also, we're glad that Jairus is able to be with us tonight. So thankful for that. Also, as we uh, consider those who are sick, one, some that we need to add to our list is David Ronda and Zach Blanton. All of them have tested positive for COVID, and so keep them in your prayers as well. We've had several who have been uh, uh, positive for COVID, and we want to continue to remember all of them in our prayers. Also, in regard to that, we sent out a text today about uh, some free COVID tests that you can request, but also there are free COVID tests that are being done in Oakman. I think they're doing that downtown, and if in, in case it's raining tomorrow, I think they'll be out at the voting uh, place. I don't remember what the name of the building is out there, but they will be out there. So if you have any need of that or are interested in that in any way, then uh, we wanted to make that announcements. And then one other thing, 
that I do want to uh, mention, and that is our third Thursday class is tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And if you can be with us, we'd love to have you for the study that we're continuing from last year, actually continuing for, from 2020, but we'll be continuing uh, with the Bible and science and what does the Bible have to say. Are there other announcements that we are needing to make tonight? Yes, uh, February 13th, we will be hosting the Area Wide Youth Series here at Midway. We will need some help for that, and we'll get more details. It'll be at 5 p.m., and uh, Brother Kirk Brothers, the president of Heritage Christian, will be speaking with us. So we'll be getting details on that. That's February 13th. Our Queen Justice, uh, the wife of Leo, she passed away this week, and uh, Gwen's graveside service will be Monday at 2 o'clock. All right. Anything else we need to, to mention tonight? If not, if you'll bow with me, we'll close out with a prayer. Holy and righteous Father in heaven, we are so thankful for the blessing that we've had tonight of coming together and singing songs of praise to thy name. Father, we pray that as we've sung them tonight, that we can have been uplifted, that we can have been encouraged, and that, Heavenly Father, we can be motivated to do the things that, that we've sung about and the things that are good and right in your sight. Continue to be with those who are sick, those that we've mentioned tonight, those on the list that was sent out earlier. We pray that you will be with each one. Be with those who have lost loved ones and comfort and strengthen them as only you can. Father, continue to watch over us each day as we seek to do your will. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.